Hi, my name is Theo Chrysos, and here I'll be going through the basics of capturing and calculating a 3D model using photogrammetry. Here Henry demonstrates the capture process, walking 270 degrees around his photogrammetry subject, maintaining a 6 to 10 foot distance to make certain the subject fills the video frame. There are loads of devices capable of capturing the types of images suited for photogrammetry calculations, but my team found that, for ease of use and portability, a smartphone recording video in 4K or 1080p worked particularly well. After making a first pass, Henry doubles back to take a 180 degree close-up of his subject's face, adding detailed shots the photogrammetry software can use to make the 3D model's features more accurate. Next, upload your raw footage to Adobe Premiere Pro and right-click to set your playhead position to frames instead of a 30 or 60 frame per second timecode. The initial number of frames you should produce will far exceed the number you'll need to use for photogrammetry. Highlight all of the footage you intend to use to make your model, right-click, and select Speed and Duration. Set the duration to between 250 and 400 frames, opting for more if your subject is particularly large or complex. From here, you can jump right to exporting your footage. Select the TIFF still image format, and as for the destination of your export, we recommend creating a new folder on an uncrowded drive, as these exports tend to take up 8 to 12 gigabytes of space. What you should be left with are still images for every frame of your Premiere sequence, images that will now import into Reality Capture. Select the Workflow tab, then Folder. Then find the new folder you just exported your Premiere project to. Reality Capture will display a count when it has located the images. Next, select the Alignment tab and Align Images. This is the first of a few Reality Capture processes that will take some time and tax your PC, so try to limit background application usage. After Alignment, Reality Capture will have produced a point cloud color and coordinate information in 3D space gathered from your capture. Switch here to the Reconstruction tab, define the ground plane to orient your model, and set a reconstruction region to limit the points you want composing your model. Click first to create a 2D rectangle, and then drag to create a 3D box. Try to make your reconstruction region as tight to your model as possible. With the reconstruction region set, select the normal detail button with the cube icon. This will turn your point cloud into a semi-solid 3D object comprising millions of polygons and can take anywhere between 20 minutes to an hour. Color will look as though it has disappeared from the model, but it will return shortly. Next, simplify your model. Select the simplify tool and choose a target triangle count between 75,000 and 150,000. Unwrap your model. Specify a maximal texture resolution of 8192 by 8192. Then texture your model. Here, color will return. Before exporting, save your Reality Capture project, and again we recommend doing so in a new folder. To conclude your work in Reality Capture, select Upload to Sketchfab. We'll include a link to Sketchfab account setup details below. After the model finishes processing, select 3D Settings. In the Shading drop-down menu, select Shadeless. With that, your 3D model is complete. Artifacts, such as those around the crown of this model's head, are common and easily remedied in Reality Capture with the filtering tool. Select Save View to take a screenshot, and Save Settings to make sure your 3D settings stick.